I'm with you. I'm with you. All right, let's talk about the last topic for the day. Habib Nurmagomedov is back September 7th, UFC 242 in Abu Dhabi against Dustin Poirier, uh, or Poirier, however you want to say it. Uh, yeah. light, lightweight championship. I'm excited about it. Uh, they said that Habib has got a, a new fat contract. Do you think Habib is worth the contract? He's only as good as the people he can fight. Like, if he fights guys and just beats the brakes off of them real fast and they're not good fights, then then he's not a star. It's not fun to watch, and people are going to quit watching his fights. Well, and he said if, he's not fighting in Vegas anymore. So you really need, Why is that, though? Uh, he, he thinks that they did him wrong. Yeah, they did him wrong. Yeah, it's, that's what I'm saying. It's like, this is ridiculous. So, like, yeah. he'll, he'll still fight in New York. He'll fight, you know, in... Uh, in LA, I don't really care where he fights, but it just take his contract is only going to be as good as the people he fights. If if he could ever get McGregor in, involved in something again, then, see, then he's not interested in fighting McGregor, and that's what makes it so weird to me. Is he good enough on his own without McGregor? It, did he make enough of a name for himself with all this mess that people are going to want to pay for his fights? Well, I don't and think so. I don't I, think I don't so either. Think the casual public knows who he is whatsoever. Um, and, and the, uh, the other thing is, is once again, if he can have some great epic fights that, that he gets to showcase himself in, but, but it's just a really good overall fight, then, then yeah, you can absolutely make a name for yourself and, and come up the ranks. The problem is, is I don't know what those guys look like in UFC. It's, I mean, between Tony Ferguson and, uh, Cowboy Cerrone, you know, you're you're gonna need some names that that mainstream people tend to know, and there's not a ton of them, right? No. But on top it. of that, you're gonna have to be a fun fight to watch. Like that's, people love McGregor because he stands up and strikes. He's he's a boxer in an MMA ring. Like he would stand up and strike. He would drop his hands and like taunt you. Like he he understood the art of putting on a show. Yeah, people love it. He he got that this is an entertainment. And so let's talk about McGregor then, because it, neither one of them has fought since October sixth, two thousand eighteen. I was about to say it's been a while. It, it's been it's been a little while, and nothing has been announced for McGregor. Obviously, he's got his proper twelve whiskey and everything. He doesn't really need this anymore, but he claims that he wants to fight. Like he retired, but then he's still training and and working out. He's every other day. It seems like he's getting on and and you know, challenging somebody. So, like, he challenged Mayweather to a rematch, uh, called him, like, Juan Manuel Mayweather. <laughs> like, just ridiculous, right? So, I'm not sure what, like, it, what is the UFC worth if if they don't have McGregor and if their biggest star is a guy that specializes in wrestling? Like, is boxing, in, is boxing in contention to possibly overtake them with these big names like Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence Jr., uh, you know, all these other, you know, Deontay Wilder, Anthony Joshua. Even with the loss, yeah. Joshua is still like a huge star. Well, right now, like, listen, Anthony Ruiz in America is a huge star. Right now, he's yeah. He's, he's every American's, like, hero, correct, right yes. now. It's just, that's just it. Every, every guy watching this stuff, unless you're, like, a legit boxer – like you're you're watching it saying, man, I'm I'm with that guy. I'm with that guy. Come on, let's go. Let's beat him again. There was let an MMA guy, guy just like this, but you remember Roy Nelson? That's it. Roy Nelson had like really long brunette hair, but was just a fat dude. But he whooped up on people in the in, in the octagon. Now he ended yeah. up getting beat a few times. Yeah, but, that happens. Man, he he was on like a, a winning streak early on. He was in uh, the Ultimate Fighter. But he he won I think like his okay. first ten matches. Now. I know exactly so, what you're talking. About. Yeah, he I mean, was Roy, on the year the Kimbo Slice was on. Uh, is that right? I think so. It might there be. Was big, there but, was a big fat guy that fought Kimbo several times and, and beat him. Yeah, Roy times. Nelson was awesome, just awesome. Um, but yeah, this I mean, and, and he stayed around for forever. Like yeah. oh, his nickname was Big Country. That was it. <laughs> That's it. So yeah, he uh let's see, I'm looking him up right now. He uh he started out, let's see, six and then he gets to the UFC. 
Um, da, 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 he beat uh, he beat Brendan Schaub, like in the Ultimate Fighter heavyweights finale. Mm-hmm. So he beats Brendan Schaub. He beats uh, Stefan Struve. And then he loses to Junior Dos Santos, loses to Frank Mir, but then he beats Mirko Krokop, who at the time, in, back in 2011, was like big, big, big name. Um, but man, I mean, he fought forever. Like it, all the way up until, Lord, he had a fight in February this year with Bellator. Oh, so he's Lord. he's still doing it. But um, but yeah, he, it's like the American dream. It's like, I want to go eat McDonald's and Burger King every day and still be able to fight. Like, that's exactly what it is. Yeah. So Andy Ruiz, he's got like some major marketing uh, opportunities here. So you, you, you and me and our boys from Westlot, we're on a group text, and I fully believe our our country needs somebody to help bring us all together. Right now, immigration's a hot topic. I think this is the guy that that is right up Trump's alley to say, <laughs> you know what? We're gonna bring, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna ease some pain between the Mexican Americans and 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 the Trump people, and we're gonna bring us all together. You know, he's gonna love the McDonald's at the White House that Trump's gonna serve him. This is this is what yep. I think. I think this guy can help heal America. Uh, you're I probably do. right. Just bring us all together, man. You are probably right. This is the guy. <laughs> It'd be awesome. All right. So, but it, to answer answer the question then: Is boxing in a position to be able to take over UFC? But my only hesitation is because there's no one league like UFC that can that can actually make fights happen. Well, that's, even that's UFC like, has had trouble making the fights happen. Well, I, oh, I completely agree with that. But at least they have control over these guys. It's not like they can just go fight for somebody else or whatever. True. Um, you, you don't have stars joining other leagues. That's the issue. But I like where boxing's at right now. I really wish there was some way that ESPN and DAZN could just merge, and, or, or at least say we're gonna we're gonna let our fighters fight with you and your fighters fight with us, and and every fight you get, we get one back. Somehow, or somebody. or make it where it, now a lot of these are going to end up being pay per views. That's right. But like Joshua, it like so Anthony or uh, uh, Deontay Wilder is not signed with anybody. He's like That's a right. premier boxing guy. So it's it's he's got a loose deal with Showtime, but it's you know he can still go do whatever he wants to. You well, got to find a way to make sure these guys, no matter who their deal is with. We can still get the fights we want. They're yeah. all in it to make the sport better, and they understand that instead of getting all the money for this fight, I only get half of it. That that's better for everybody. It's better for the game. It's better for the sport. Now, like, if just if uh, uh, if Tyson Fury ends up beating Deontay Wilder, then you're going to see exactly how this thing is going to work. Because if you end up with a Joshua Fury fight. Uh, then you have DAZN and ESPN. And those are the only two that it's going to make like a huge difference. That's right. It's like if if we are ever going to get a Fury-Joshua fight, that's where the problem arises. Because Wilder can go to DAZN or he can go to ESPN. Yeah, he can go to either one he wants. Either right one. Now. So on ESPN, it, it's top rank, but it's the same that's thing. Right. So that's ESPN Plus is getting in the pay-per-view business. Have you seen this? No, I haven't seen that. Like at UFC and, and whatnot, they're doing some of their pay-per-views on ESPN Plus. And uh, some of the top rank stuff is going to be on there as well. So, another way for ESPN to make uh, a few more dollars uh, since they are losing subscribers at an alarmingly high rate. Well, they but, paid uh, like a billion bucks for UFC. Yeah, I mean they paid yeah, a lot, so you, you might as well take advantage, right? And so yeah. I haven't even seen. I, I guess the Amazon deal is still on for UFC, right? I have no idea about that. Like that Amazon is- was was doing the pay per view stuff for them. Along with like the UFC uh, app or whatever, the fight app, well, and then be doing them for ESPN and US and Amazon. That's I think. I mean, I could I could see that happening, but yeah, it was just another way for people to be able to actually order UFC fights because of so many people that are cutting the cord. Yeah, like then you couldn't get the pay per views without having cable, right? Well, now it's easier to get the streaming stuff done. So, yeah, it's uh. E- easy way for people to get these UFC fights. Like I'm, I'm looking forward to at hell. Two thirty eight's coming up soon, and I don't even know what the date is. But Tony Ferguson and uh, Cowboy Cerrone are fighting, 
That'll I be, am. That'll be fun. Yeah, I'm stoked about that. All right, that's going to wrap it up for today. As always, go over to betnow.eu. Use promo code WINNING50. You'll get a 50% deposit bonus. Uh, share out the show for us. All of that wonderful stuff. We will be back again tomorrow. Thank you all for coming in. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.